one. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Here are the five for the Clippers. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubats. The guard set is Beverly and George, and it's Leonard in at the three. And for the Lakers, the forwards are LeBron and Davis. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out go. there with Dennis Schroeder, and it's Gasol in at the five, roaming the paint. So the Clippers win the tip. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Leonard the pass to George. Five to shoot. Baseline try. The Lakers with the rebound. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. And they definitely kept their eyes on the prize. Put on a real entertaining comeback. And that's a feel-good game when you can win like that. Now here's Schroeder. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. And it's denied. How impressive was that? The little fellow Beverly extending out for the block. Showed us some nice timing for a guy that's not much taller than 6'2". How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that one. There's Schroeder on the clock. Releases from the wing and drills it. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge according to the sideline. Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share. A game like this is often pivotal to the outcome of the series. As his coach said, the win tonight gives them a 3-1 lead with two chances to finish things off at home. That's going to make this one a dogfight. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. And here is LeBron after Paul George getting his three to go. And the basket is good. You know, for LeBron, I think that mid-range shot is an important one for him to have in his bag. It keeps the defense honest. Here's Leonard. And they pick up two. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. James looking around. Caldwell Pope outside. Bangs home the trifecta. Like the sun rising every day, you can count on LeBron to have his head up scanning the floor and finding the open man. And George kicks to Zubas. Dish now to Beverly. There's the pass to Leonard. Defense! Down to five on the shot clock. And the wide open shot for Morris. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. He was all alone on that one. Caldwell Pope's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Lakers. Here's George. Zubats a screen on Caldwell Pope. And George, here we go. And Gasol sends it back. Now the Lakers on the break. Caldwell Pope against Leonard. A shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Clippers trail by five. Leonard the pass to Beverly. Buries the long-range jumper. And Beverly is very consistent from outside. Solid at hitting the three ball when given the opportunity to shoot it. Shooter passes to James. Back to Schroeder. This all set in the pick for Schroeder. Inside. It's tipped. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Beverly with the ball. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Zubats with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 
Leonard with a screen on Gasol. Oh, Leonard in position. The shot comes out. And Schroeder's got the ball here for the Lakers. Outside, Davis. Back to Schroeder. Pass to James. The three. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Over the years, his catch-and-shoot jumper has gotten so much better. You can tell LeBron's really worked on that part of his game. Morris with the screen for Leonard. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. James wide open. It's rebounded by Leonard. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. As to Beverly. Here's Zubats defended by Gasol. Zubats kicks to Beverly. Outside, George. Shot clock at six. No good on the triple. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. And James gets it to go on the assist by Schroeder. LeBron's got seven points. Clippers trail by seven. George looking around. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Taking advantage of that length inside, George has the size and touch to score with ease from there. James, a screen on Beverly. Outside, Davis. To the middle. No good, shot missing. The Clippers go the other way with it. To the paint. And Davis sends it back. Well, I'll tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And here's LeBron outside. Another miss by James. Clippers trail by five. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And that one's good. Leonard. How about Kawhi Leonard knocking down the three ball? Didn't have that shot when he got into the league. Love seeing how he's improved as a shooter with the outside jump. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Six points for him. Nobody near Schroeder. They get it back. Here's Gasol. Makes it off the glass. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Jackson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Rondo comes in for Patrick Beverly. And the Clippers have possession. Four point game. And here's Rondo. 
Six on the shot clock. Outside, George. From outside, off the mark. The Lakers have gone 7 to 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. And the shot goes in. Now it's a six point Laker lead. Outstanding start from three point range. Their shooters are on fire. It really makes them a hard team to guard because they space you out so well. Got that one up quick. Leonard's got seven points in the game. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Davis sets a screen. Pass to Horton Tucker. Now here is Davis. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Lakers lead by six. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And that one's good, George. And that kind of awareness from George is really exceptional. Catching the defense flat-footed by rising up immediately on the catch. Caruso looking for an opening. For the three. And he's good on the three ball. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. Bring music scorching those nets. How long can they keep this up, though? Now here's Leonard. He's got seven. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And then Leonard enjoys jamming it home. Got to keep him as far away from the hoop as possible. Caruso, the pass to Davis. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Right side, Jackson. And a wide-open look for Rondo. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. You know, when Rondo is at his most effective, he's setting up people, but he's also getting some points for himself on the perimeter. Then the passing lanes really open up for him, and he can give you real headaches when that happens. Caruso. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And the Lakers making a change here. James is checked in. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Clippers trail by three. George up top. Covered by LeBron. Got that bucket in in no time at all. George has got ten points. Punch, counterpunch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Here's Horton Tucker. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. The pass to Leonard. Rebound the Lakers. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Takes a three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. 
<laughs> and the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Jackson passes to Ibaka. Stolen away. George against James. Feeds it to Harrell. LeBron trying to free himself up. And Harrell, the bucket on the assist by LeBron. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's George. And just miss after miss right now. Lakers leading by nine. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Leonard inside. He's defended by Harold. And Leonard gets it to go. 11 points in the game. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. There's a screen. Here's LeBron. And again, it's the Lakers. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Outside Rondo. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Leonard finds George. Five on the clock. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They have a nine-point lead. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Outside Jackson. Jacks up a three. It's good from long range. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Lakers lead by six. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second-chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Lakers leading by six. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Matthews. And Harrell's in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And here's Jackson following the three from Wesley Matthews. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. And here's the fast break. It's tipped. Now, Kennard. Oh, Leonard in position. Matthews with it. Leonard picks him up. Down low. Here's Kuzma. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Here's Mann. And sinks the three-pointer. Mann's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Schroeder dishes to LeBron. That's good. He's five for nine. I'll tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. Clippers trail by eight. Jackson looking it over. And now the fast break. Matthews with the ball. And he banks in the layup. Matthews has got five points in the quarter. 
And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And the other thing they've done well is they've run the shooters off their sweet spots. They've really closed out well and forced them to put the basketball on the floor. Drains it from beyond the arc. Kennard's got his first three points of the game. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Now here's Harold. Here's James, and the took by LeBron. That is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. Lakers shooting their first foul shot of the night. One shot. Talk about LeBron James, he does it all. Defends, scores, rebounds, passes, high IQ, unselfish, a leader off the court as well as on. Now here's Leonard. 11 points in the game. Zubac to screen on Kuzma. Leonard kicks to Kanaan. It's rebounded by Schroeder. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And the Clippers call time here. They're yeah, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. For those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Now James, after the miss three from Reggie Jackson. To the inside, Matthew. Picks it out to Schroeder. And a miss there on the triple. Clippers trail by 15. Now here's Leonard. He's got 11. And Gennard wide open. He shoots. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. LeBron against Zubac. And Harrell slams it in. 
Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now, here's Kanon. He's got six. Man can't hit. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. The feed to James. Back to Schroeder. A three. He can't get that one to fall. The Clippers go the other way with it. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Passes to man. Let's it go. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Timeout called the Lakers. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for Wesley Matthews. The Clippers also changing it up. Morris comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Georgia subbed in for Luke Kennard. Lakers leading by 12. James, the pass to Davis. to Schroeder over Jackson and the Lakers with another miss uh, you can't look at the result of that shot they'll take that whenever they get it well you know I hear you that's a good look but when you're that wide open I think you got to knock it down man can hit Lakers have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter up over 50 percent and it's Davis missing and Morris has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Clippers. Down by 12. There's Jackson with the three. The Lakers with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points inside. The shot's good from Kuzma. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Jackson on the triple the defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts and those triples they sure do add up quickly don't they I mean they've got to make some kind of adjustment here bounce pass Schroeder here's James oh and the jam by LeBron nothing out of the ordinary there for LeBron I mean insane athleticism outside George Lakers leading by 13. Here's the teardrop. And the rejection by Zubats. And it's good for two. Schroeder's got his third bucket of the night. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. It's George on the wing. And it's George again missing. 
Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Back to Schroeder. Davis setting the pick for Schroeder, and he dunks it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. The Lakers have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Kyle Kuzma, and it's Alex Caruso in for Let's James. Stop. Clippers trail by 18. Outside Leonard. Yep, it counts. Right, and part of what makes Kawhi such a great player is that jump shot. You, you can't just worry about him attacking the basket. Here's Caruso. 11 points in the game. Davis with a screen on run. Caruso, no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. There's not much a defender can do when George decides to go up with the pull up. I mean, you've got to respect both his shooting and his driving ability because of his speed on the dribble. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Eight points for him. George with the ball. Now guarded by Schroeder. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, this hot streaks time guys out. don't last minutes. They last days. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Some changes for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Gasol. And LeBron subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Mann's checked in. Down low. Puts it up from seven. James with the bucket. James has got nine points in the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Now here's Leonard. 13 points in the game. Misses the wing jail. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Leonard against Kuzma. James outside. For three, Caldwell Pope. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Caldwell Pope's got 11 points. Very effective at spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Leonard on the wing, covered by LeBron. Lakers leading by 16. Davis, the pass to James. Caldwell Pope on the wing. 11 points in the game. Beyond the arc. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Pass to Mann. 
He dishes it to Cousins. Leonard sets a screen for Cousins. Off the left rim and out. Lakers shooting 61%, showing all the indications of an offense that is locked in and stolen by Cousins. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Leonard. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Here's James. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's George. He's got 18. Cracks in the tray. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Caruso, the pass to James. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop him. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. The Lakers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. One falls for him. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Lakers. He doesn't get the second one. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Man can hit. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Outside Matthews. The pass to LeBron. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Rocket six. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. LeBron's got 23. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Cousins with a screen on Kuzma. They get the rebound. Passes it to Cousins. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Pass to Leonard. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. The drive by LeBron. Count that one. 25 points in the game. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. KCP, a great first half of play with the score. And what did you see from them defensively that allowed you to be effective? Um, I just took what they gave me. I took what they gave me and I just knocked them down. Hey, KCP, thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the Halftime Show. Taking a look at the Lakers. To keep the series competitive, they know they have to win tonight, and that pressure has brought out the best in them. They don't look like a team that's willing to go down three games to one in this series. They want to even it up. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, let's give it up. Let's give it up for King James. How many times have you seen him as his team's focal point? 
It's amazing what he does, and he continues to do it in this strong league. And over to Shaq, now your take on the Clippers. Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow a way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. We're back at the Western Conference Finals. Happy to have you with us here on 2K Sports. It's been a clinic out there by James. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. So for the Clippers right now, Leonard and Morris are up in the forward position. The guard set is Beverly and George. And it's Zubats in at the five. Beverly with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Leonard the pass to Morris. Shoots over Schroeder. Morris, no good. Lakers leading by 18. Schroeder outside. LeBron James on the wing. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got four assists in the game. So special and exciting to watch greatness. LeBron James tonight playing at the highest level. Now here's Leonard. 15 points in the game. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. James in the post. He's covered by Leonard. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. James has got four this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here is George. 21 points in the game. A three from Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Yes, and how about the unselfishness? Paul Choi has no problem sharing the ball. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Davis. Knocked away. It's stolen by Morris. Beverly finds George. And here is Zubats. Back to George. And the pass to Zubats. Over Caldwell Pope. Another one falls for the Clippers. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Passes it to LeBron. Shoots over Leonard. James, no good. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. 15-point game. It's stolen by Schroeder. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Kawhi Leonard. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. good from Schroeder. Schroeder hits them both. Here's Leonard. 20 points for him. Count the bucket. 
And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. You know, there are differing opinions as to who the best defensive player in the league is. But no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. Now here's Schroeder. 11 points in the game. James. And the Lakers with another miss. George against Caldwell Pope. And George kicks to Beverly. Pass to Zubats. Clippers moving the ball around. Leonard attacking. Can't cash in from close range. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Leonard against LeBron. Pass to Schroeder. Driving in. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got assist number eight now on the night. Clippers trail by 16. Beverly, the pass to Zubats. Back to Beverly. Outside, George. He feeds it to Morris. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Such a versatile offensive threat. Morris draws his fair share of fouls. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. Free throw good for Morris. Yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Marquise, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. Morris drops them both. Schroeder with the ball. He's got 13. The pass to LeBron. Leonard with the steal. Releases from 15. And again, it's the Clippers missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Schroeder outside. LeBron drives in. Back to Schroeder. Just five to shoot. Caldwell Pope for three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got five assists tonight. Hey, the form, the release, everything in sync and lined up. Fun watching Caldwell Pope shoot the ball like this. Now, here's George. He's got 21. And here's Schroeder. Passes it to James. Over Leonard. And it's James missing. Clippers trail by 17. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And here's George for three. Nailed from three-point land. George has got 24. He can certainly stroke it from deep. The three-pointer is not a shot that George is going to pass up. And the Lakers call Sorry. time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
on the wing, Davis, covered by Morris. Davis inside. He's against Morris. It's stolen by Morris. Now Leonard. He's got 23. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And at about 230 pounds, Leonard is a well-built specimen. Can absorb defenders like it's nothing. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken advantage. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. Lakers leading by 11. LeBron outside. Over George. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. From past the arc. And it's George missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Schroeder. 13 points in the game. And he comes up with the deuce. Schroeder's got 15 points. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. And the Clippers call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Some changes for the Lakers. Montrez Hill comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Patrick Beverly. Now here's Rondo. Dishes to Leonard. Kicks to George. Zubats with the screen for George. Driving inside. And Davis sends it back. And it's the Lakers on the break. That shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. Clippers trail by 13. Rondo with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. LeBron outside. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. And the Lakers making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Jackson comes in for Marcus Morris. The Clippers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. Outside, George. Pass to Jackson. George sets a screen for Jackson. Picked his pocket. Here's Horton Tucker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Davis. 
Knocks it loose. Rondo with it. He kicks to Ibaka. Back to Rondo. He's all alone. Here's Horton Tucker. Lays it in off the breakaway. Horton Tucker's got his first points of the night. Clippers trail by 15. And here's Leonard. 26 points for him. Here he goes. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. The Clippers have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Matthews, he's checked in for LeBron. That free throw good from Leonard. And the Lakers have possession. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Caruso. He's got 11. Now Leonard. With the drive. And then Leonard with the dunk. And there's only ever going to be one result when Kawhi's driving to the bucket. And it's going to be loud. And it's going to be painful. Here's Horton Tucker to Caruso. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Clippers. Down by 12. against Ibaka. Here's Jackson. And it's out of bounds. The Clippers able to retain possession here. On defense, the Lakers. Ibaka outside. And the lead is down inside single digits. Ibaka's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Rondo. And he makes that one. And the Lakers lead by 11. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Rondo. Outside Leonard. Three-pointer. Horton Tucker with the rebound. Lakers leading by 11. Here's Caruso. And there's the pass to Davis. Shoots over Leonard. That doesn't go either for Davis. The Clippers shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. There's 138 left to play in the third. Here's Leonard. Rebound the Lakers. Here's Caruso. He's got 11. Passes it to Davis. Tipped away. Rondo with it. Now guarded by Harrell. Outside Rondo. The dish to George. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Lakers passing it around. A three from Matthews. Trills the three-pointer. Matthews has got his third basket of the night right there. Excellent demonstration there of squaring himself up towards the basket. Matthews knocking it down from deep. Leonard against Davis. Jackson has the open look. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Jackson's got six points. 
And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Davis. Over Leonard. Davis with the bucket. Eight points for him. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Both free throws good from Jackson. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Here's Caruso. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Leonard. And there's another one for the Lakers. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers, 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Matthews out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Harrell in at the five. Down low. That's the Laker five. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And throw it down, Kawhi. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard and attacking with power. Now here's Kuzma. Fires for three. And Harrell slams it in. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And, G.A., it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And, and, you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Schroeder dishes to James. Launches a three. But they'll get another chance. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Schroeder. So, for the Clippers, Mann's checked in. And it's Kennard in for Patrick Beverly. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kennard. And here is Cousins. He's defended by Harrell. Cousins inside. Harrell on him. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Outside Matthews. LeBron outside. Knocks down the three ball. LeBron's got 32 points. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Kennard against Schroeder. Outside for Jackson. Now the pass to Mann. And the Clippers miss again. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They led the game at one point by 20. Oh, oh that was a strong dunk. Oh, he 
seems ages at times, guys. Somehow, some way, LeBron continues to rip off these insane sequences time and time again. Remarkable. And the Clippers miss again. Lakers leading by 16. Harrell will screen on Jackson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. You know, when James is looking to score, he puts defenders in really tough spots. And when he's aggressive and tenacious, watch out. And the first one at the line is good. Davis is checked in for the Lakers. Leonard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Paul George comes in for Luke Kennard. And both free throws good for LeBron. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. LeBron with a screen on Jackson. Kuzma outside. Morris against James. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. James has got 38 points. Clippers trail by 20. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Leonard looking over the floor. Leonard sets a screen for George. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Lakers leading by 20. Passes it to LeBron. And he goes right over Paul George and slams it down. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Leonard against LeBron. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Jackson with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Jackson against LeBron. Over James. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on LeBron James. And how about the confidence right now from Jackson? Not bashful at attacking and drawing attention from there. Shooting two. And that one falls for Jackson. And hits both of them. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Now here's Matthews. Pass to James. Launches it. And another three for the Lakers. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. It's Jackson with the drive. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Matthews. A three ball. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Outside Jackson. 
Here's George. And the Clippers miss again. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 16-4 run right now. Here's Schroeder. Headshot off. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Leonard on the wing. James covering. Leonard kicks to Jackson. He dishes it to Cousins. Back to Jackson. Shot clock at five. Outside, George. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got four assists in the game. And he got loose from the three-point range in the first half and showing signs here that he's still got the flow in the second. The Lakers making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. And then for the Clippers, Zubats is checked in for Cousins. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Marcus Morris. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Deflects the pass. Leonard with the steal. A drive by Rondo, and he drops in the way up off the glass. You know, with Rondo's tenure in the league, he's been around now for over a decade and a half. He continues to give you flashes of that burst. Now here's LeBron outside. Davis has to Caruso. Davis with a screen on run. Into the lane. Davis with the bucket. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. There's the pass to Zubats. To the paint. Ball's knocked loose. And now the pass break. Matthews with the ball. Passes to Caruso. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Rondo passes to Zubats. Outside, George. Just five on the clock. Takes the three. And another three for the Clippers. He's absolutely killing it from outside. Lakers leading by 17. Pass to Caruso. Releases from 15. And Davis can't get it to go. Clippers shooting reasonably well, 45%. George with a screen on Kuzma. Leonard with the bucket. The Lakers have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. George against LeBron. Here's Kuzma. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Clippers trail by four.
15. Now here's Leonard. It's good. Leonard's got 39. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi on the interior. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. Over George. The 15-footer. Good. And the Lakers lead by 15. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Here's George. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And George has learned a lot and I think continues to evolve as a leader. He relishes the chance to deliver for this team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. The Lakers making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And George drops them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Kuzma outside. Here's James. Buries it from about 10 feet away. James has got 44. Not going to miss many chances from that range. That's the bronze wheelhouse there. George passes to Leonard. And Davis sends it back. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Yep, and they've simply shown more aggressiveness, guys. More desire to secure the ball. Caldwell Poe passes to Davis. Over Jackson. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Caldwell Pope. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now, here's George. Pass to Zubats. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Boy, George is an outstanding player. Actually, one of the very best in the league. In these screen and roll sets, he knows exactly what to do. Here's Caruso. Kuzma outside. Here's LeBron. And another basket for the Lakers. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Outside, George. He's looking for Leonard and finds him. And no good. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. The pass to Kuzma. Here's Caruso. Davis setting the pick for Caldwell Pope. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. And that'll do it for game four. Just a terrific performance all around. And a big-time conference finals win for the Lakers. Tonight, they did a great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Solid play, definitely, Kevin. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep Mind him from dropping Mind it in. Lanes. One shot. One oh five left in the fourth. Lakers leading by 14. Caruso kicks to James. Over Jackson. And another basket for the Lakers. 
And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Here's George following the basket by LeBron James. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to James. Lakers passing it around. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Leonard. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Leonard's got 44. Hey, you can't forget about this now. Rondo's average double digits assists multiple seasons. As good a passer as any in this league. Here's Caruso. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.